Javier Millet has suspended Talam State News Agency, accusing it of being a propaganda outlet for the left. Dipti is here. It's garnering a lot of attention in the press, this, isn't it, Dipti? Yeah, that's right, Stuart. It is garnering a lot of uh, press. Javier Millet has called the Talam State news, news Agency, which is actually the largest state news, news agency in all of Latin America, he's called it a propaganda mouthpiece for previous leftist administrations. It's why the government moved to suspend the news outlet for the next seven days, meaning staff will be paid for the next seven days. But beyond that, the idea is to look at eventually uh, halting all its functions or essentially establishing its definitive closure. Uh, this is an article from Clarín, which is an Argent, uh, which is a, a local paper in uh, Argentina, which explains that Telam operated as a news wholesaler uh, with more than 500 um, wire stories per day and hundreds of photos being published. It also played, played an important role in um, distributing the government's official advertising until Javier Millet also put a stop to that. The agency also employed 750 staff, uh, all of whom were prohibited from going to work on Monday because the offices were uh, literally fenced in and the agency's website was also disabled. Uh, officially, uh, President Millet says that the agency was losing money, but he has also said that it was He's accused it of being a propaganda mouthpiece for previous left-wing administrations on Twitter, a group um, set up to support workers, uh, uh, really uh, denounced uh, the government's measures. Uh, in this tweet here, uh, they call it pure dogmatism and persecution against those working for the state agency. Yeah, it comes, doesn't it, uh, Dipti, after Javier Millet uh, criticised written press journalists for opinion pieces that were published at the weekend? Yeah, that's right. This is uh, in uh, La Nación, another uh, local paper from Argentina, which uh, calls uh, this a, quote, new chapter in a long series of insults and attacks by Millet to the press. Uh, he slammed two journalists from La Nación and Clarín, two of the papers we, we, spoke about, uh, we spoke about, over opinion pieces that were published uh, at recently. His attitude towards the media has been slammed by journalist associations, warning that the risks of altering the climate that preserves freedom of expression are enhanced with these uh, increasing attacks on the press. Super Tuesday today. Going to be hearing a lot about this in the next 24 hours, of course. Major day in US presidential primary elections for Democrats and Republicans, notably, though, uh, Donald Trump. That's right. And Donald Trump, of course, coming fresh off that Supreme Court decision, Stuart, uh, that despite his role in the January 6, 2021 uh, insurrection, he's still eligible to run for Republican primaries. Uh, primary elections and caucuses will take place in 15 U.S. states and one territory this Tuesday. That's why it's called tu Super Tuesday, with about one-third of delegates for nominations for both parties at stake. European papers are heavily invested in, in the coverage of this uh, Super Tuesday this week, uh, or this uh, Tuesday, rather. Uh, uh, Il Manifesto, that's an uh, Italian communist paper, which calls it rather Super Trump, not Super Tuesday, evoking its concern about the eventual return of Donald Trump to power. Uh, Belgian uh, daily Le Soir uh, going a step further, calling it a super week for Donald Trump uh, with a presidential campaign that is heating up and is more polarizing than ever. And you also have La Croix, the French Catholic paper here, which uh, features Donald Trump on its front page, uh, going with a headline that says he's uh, perhaps looking for some revenge this time round. Some French politics for you now. I'd missed this story, so I'm glad Dipti's brought it up. Uh, apparently, the former French president, Francois Hollande, could be eyeing a comeback of his own, according to uh, some media. Yeah, that's right. This is really interesting. And also, I missed it when it came out in Le Figaro, but uh, The Telegraph has picked up on this uh, uh, story uh, reporting on this article from Le Figaro uh, a few days ago. François Hollande was the least popular president at the end of his term in 2017, so much so that he actually decided not to run again as president, paving the way, of course, for Emmanuel Macron to uh, campaign and become president. Now, with Emmanuel Macron's popularity in tatters, Hollande, according to one poll, has become the third most popular French politician in France behind Gabriel Attal, the current Prime, uh, Prime Minister and former Prime Minister Edouard Philippe. Uh, allegedly, Hollande is hoping to use this to stage possibly a comeback for 2027, but we'll re obviously it's all hypothetical at this point, aided also by the chaos uh, reigning in the Greens and left coalition in France. And in December, Hollande reflected on his presidency 
uh, with his trademark humor and wit saying his new slogan would be, all things considered, it wasn't so bad. I think mediocrity, <laughs> mediocrity definitely uh, is something uh, worth looking out for in politics. Yeah, that's certainly true. I love it, I love it. Friday from Ditti, a campaign in Dublin has been set up uh, to run and protect a beloved statue. This is from public, um, public groping? Yeah, that's right. The Molly Malone statue in Dublin is a lo beloved statue here. Uh, that uh, represents a, uh, a folkloric street seller who died of a fever. The busty bust also has seen many people groping her, kissing her and other unwanted actions. And now that area around her bust has started to uh, fade away. So the campaign uh, aims to uh, protect her, but also slam the misogynistic behavior, which the busker says has reduced the national treasure to derision. Dublin City Council is also looking at ways to protect Molly Malone from, uh, and her breasts as well, from <laughs> leery <laughs> tourists. <laughs> Quite right, a bit cold as well at this time of year. Anyway, it is very much to roll with the papers.